welcome back to New Found Dreamer, where I help you create the life of your dreams. Today, I am going to share with you 20 things that you can do in the morning that will make you feel more productive than scrolling through social media. You wake up to your phone alarm, reach for your phone to turn it off, then you open up Instagram to see what happened while you slept. Before you know it, 10, 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes have passed, and you finally decide that it is time to get out of bed and start your day. Sound familiar? It is so easy to get sucked into the trap of social media in the morning, especially if you use your phone as an alarm. But that time spent on social media first thing in the morning is not a productive or healthy way to start your day. You did not start your day on your own terms. You started your day by allowing your thoughts and emotions to be influenced by what others decided to share on social media. So here's a list of 20 things that you can do in the morning that are better and more productive than starting your day with social media. Number one, practice gratitude. Start your morning by thinking, writing, or speaking five things that you are grateful for. Practicing gratitude helped me improve my mindset and create a more positive outlook on life. Number two, make your bed. As soon as your feet hit the floor in the morning, make your bed. This will help you start your day on a productive note, and when you feel productive, you are more likely to keep the momentum going. Number three, drink a glass of water. Your body just went several hours without consuming any fluids and water is essential for our bodies to function properly. So start your day by drinking a glass of water to hydrate your body and jumpstart your digestion and metabolism. Number four, skincare. Start your day with a clean face. Wipe the sleep from your eyes and wash the drool off your cheeks. A little splash of water on your face in the morning may even help wake you up. Then use some face cream to seal in the moisture. I recommend finding a skincare routine that works well for your skin type. I love Arbonne skincare products. They are free from harmful chemicals and they are botanically based. I have been using a combination of their Calm and BioHydria line for several months now and I have noticed a huge improvement in my skin. Number five, stretch. Take a few minutes to show your muscles some love and do a few stretches. A little something to get the blood flowing. Or if you're in need of a good stretch, why not try an at-home yoga session? I love the YouTube channel Yoga with Adrian. I am currently following her new series, Home, a 30-day yoga journey. Number six, get some fresh air. Need some help waking up? Go outside and breathe some fresh air into your lungs. Honestly, if it wasn't for Hallie, I would probably avoid this one during the winter months. But after sleeping all night, Hallie needs to go outside to relieve herself. This means that most winter mornings, I am jolted awake by the cold winter air. Number seven, exercise. Exercise is such a great way to start your day. I find that working out in the morning wakes me up and gives me the energy that I need to go about the rest of my day. So instead of scrolling through social media, try going for a run or a walk, practicing yoga, lifting some weights, or going to a spin class. Really just do any type of exercise that you enjoy. Number eight, journal. Get your thoughts out of your mind and onto paper. Journaling is not something that I do every day, but I find that when I have a lot on my mind, it is a great way to clear my head. Number nine, meditate. Meditation is very beneficial for your mental health. Even just five or 10 minutes of meditation in the morning is a great way to start your day. Meditation has many benefits, including reducing stress, improving sleep, and increasing focus. There are several meditation apps available that provide guided meditations. My favorite is Calm. Number 10, read. Start your morning by reading a book. The thing that I continue to hear over and over again is that successful people read. So why not pick a genre or a topic that you enjoy and start your morning reading a few pages. I am currently reading Year of Yes by Sandra Rhimes and I am really enjoying it so far. Which is no surprise considering that it is written by the creator of my favorite show, Grey's Anatomy. Number 11, listen to an audiobook or podcast. Maybe reading in the morning is not your thing. Try listening to an audiobook or podcast. I'm currently listening to the audiobook Own Your Every Day by Jordan Lee Dooley, and my favorite podcasts to listen to are the Gold Digger podcast with Jenna Kutcher and Rise podcast with Rachel Hollis. Number 12, enjoy a cup of tea or coffee. Why not start your day with your favorite hot beverage? I know several people who cannot function without their morning coffee. I am not one of those people. I am a tea drinker and I like to take advantage of the health benefits that various types of herbal tea have to offer. Number 13, take an online course. Use the time that you would normally spend scrolling through social media in the morning to take an online course. There are so many online courses to choose from, so why not use that time to improve your knowledge and skills? Number 14, enjoy an Epsom salt bath. While I prefer to take showers, I love a hot Epsom salt bath from time to time. It is a great way to relax and unwind, and it is my go-to remedy for soothing sore muscles. Number 15, 
work on your side hustle. If you work full time and have your own business on the side, or you would like to create your own business, this is a great way to make the most of the morning time that you would normally spend on social media. An extra 15 minutes a day spent working on your business adds up to be an hour and 45 minutes a week or 91 hours and 15 minutes a year. Think of how much additional work you could get done if you dedicated an extra 91 hours of focused effort on your business. Number 16, plan your day. Instead of mindlessly scrolling through social media, why not take that time to set an intention for the day, determine your priorities, and review your calendar. This will allow you to make the most of the day ahead. Number 17, power pose and positive affirmations. Stand in front of a mirror in a power pose and speak your positive affirmations out loud. If you have not done this before, please promise me that you will give it a try. It is a great way to boost your mood. I have several positive affirmations written on sticky notes that are placed on the mirror in my ensuite. Each morning I stand in front of my mirror in a power pose, which is essentially a Wonder Woman or Superwoman pose, and speak my positive affirmations out loud. Number 18, turn on some music and dance. While I love my quiet time, every now and then I enjoy turning on some uplifting music and dancing around my house. This one is sure to help you start your day off in a good mood. Number 19, apply a face mask, eye mask, or hair mask. I know I already mentioned washing your face and skincare, but those are things that I believe that you should do every day. Applying a mask is not a part of my everyday routine, which is why I felt it deserved its own time in the spotlight. Show your skin or hair some extra love and apply a mask. Number 20, eat breakfast. Start your day by fueling your body with healthy and delicious food. I enjoy convenience, so most mornings I make myself a smoothie before I leave for work. But on the weekend, I like to slow it down and make a delicious home-cooked breakfast. I hope you enjoyed this list of 20 things that you can do in the morning that will make you feel more productive than scrolling through social media. I do not do all 20 items on this list every morning. Some of the items on this list are staples in my morning routine, and occasionally I like to mix it up by adding in an extra item or two from this list. If any of the items on this list sound interesting to you, try incorporating them in your morning routine in lieu of scrolling through social media. Now I want to hear from you. What is one thing that you cannot start your morning without? Let me know in the comments below. That is all for today. Be sure to subscribe so you do not miss out on future videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and remember to do one thing today that will bring you closer to living your dream life. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.